the roadmap to the August general election continues to take shape with the electoral body IBC putting on a brave face despite a squeezed timelines and counter accusations from the political class. IBC which is struggling to bury its tainted past after the disputed 2013 general election has organized a national elections conference to boost its image and instill some sense of public trust. It is expected that the outcomes from this meeting will go a long way in boosting confidence of the Kenyan electorate in the electoral process. We, are, we have in the new IBC commissioners, they still have a huge amount of work to do. We have got significant, significant amount of trust problems as a country, not just in IBC, but we have a, a, a trust culture and a, a, a deficit of trust culture as a country. The conference which brings together stakeholders across the country among them political leaders, civil society and religious leaders, seeks also to evaluate the state of preparedness for the elections. As a country, we need a moment to stop and reflect on the progress made and what remains to be done to ensure that we have peaceful and credible elections. We are calling upon all Kenyans to conduct themselves peacefully as we endeavor to work together to have a, a credible, fair and a transparent election. The electoral agency is currently grappling with allegations of ballot staffing by the opposition after an audit report by KPMG revealed that more than one million dead voters are in its register. The opposition coalition has already given the Chebukat-led commission 21-day notice to clean the register. The three days forum has been organized by the electoral body in collaboration with a number of institutions and development partners. Samson Kitavi, Channel One News.